Getting into Harvard Medical School requires a college degree, but the school is giving high school students a head start on careers in medicine and more. Tina Martin tells us why the school's working to develop young talent. Oxygen and fluids. We're giving here some saline right now. This office has been transformed into a hospital room, and this is the patient, a teenager named Samantha. How old are you, Samantha? I'm six feet and a half. This simulation is part of the med science program at Harvard Medical School. And these Boston Latin students, including senior Imani Mulrane, are the doctors. Hi, Samantha. Dr. Imani, my stomach is killing me. Samantha is one of many case studies students work on during the 16-week program. And so does that help solve the case right away? No. No. For Mulrane, this is hands-on experience for what she hopes will be her career. She wants to be a surgeon. I heard from the students who took AP Biology last year that you do get to work with a, a robot patient. So I was kind of expecting like a robot, like the classic robot. This one's lifelike and students are tasked with finding a diagnosis. They go through scenarios. We should give her, try to give her morphine at least to, for the pain. Look at x-rays. You can see like right here how it's very um, hollow. And most importantly, talk to the patient who can actually talk back. Up to the head of the bed. I'd like to whisper something to you. The voice behind the lifelike robot is Julie Joyle, the program's executive director. The reason I do do the voice is that I've been a nurse for 30 years. So I can actually get the message through of what actually patients are feeling. Since it was founded 10 years ago, the Med Science program has worked with 30 high schools, 20 of them in Boston. We are a program that is teaching 21st century skills, critical thinking, teamwork, communication, problem solving. This program is designed to create diversity and opportunity in the sciences. We wanted to find a way to somewhat level the playing field and offer high quality program, mainly to Boston Public School students. This time, the diagnosis was an opioid addiction. Thank you, but I'd like one of those blue pills. But it took some time for Imani Mulrain and her classmates to figure that out. We didn't know that Samantha was abusing drugs. We just assumed that she was taking some kind of painkiller she didn't know the na name of, but she did. Mulrain is headed to Princeton next year. She says the med science experience has been a head start. I think my favorite class was when they taught us how to suture because I want to be a surgeon. I know that I'll need to have that kind of skill. And you can't really get that anywhere else. At least not until she goes to med school, something she feels more confident about than ever. Tina Martin, WGBH News. About 1,500 students have gone through the med science program. One of the first is now in medical school.